Je weet het. Yes. Oké, wow. oké. Okay, okay. Wat is UV? Een anxious face uh, makes. Hi little fella. The extra UV light on the scorpion. <laughs> and is enough to give. <laughs> acting glow. So. Manalia, segura. And uh, through this UVA or UVB. Okay, on the pole. Best way to start. Extra UV. Hey anglers, welcome back to my channel. And we are going for one more short jigging masterclass. And today we are going to talk about something very, very interesting, which is the strong color jigs. And I know there are guys out there that love them and they can't breathe without them and there are guys that hate them like the vampires hate the garlic you see strong color jigs and you do like that <laughs> even if this peculiar looking jigs has nothing natural on them they are very effective are they always effective? are all colors effective? What is UV? Are they effective uh, during a specific season or a specific hour? All these we are going to see today, okay. analyze them, and in the end of this video, you will probably know if they work to use them or not and when. Maybe in the bottom, bottom, very lazy. You will see the strike. Definitely. Whee! <laughs> Whoopa! Ah. Alba Core. <laughs> when we talk about strong color jigs, uh, we talk about all these jigs that have uh, yellow, pink, uh, orange, uh, fluo green, uh, and of course glow details and colors on them. Hmm, not very realistic, huh? But what is the secret behind them? Sometimes we read on the packages UV, UV active or whatever. What is UV? Some people say ah it's uv it's good but why and uh, is uv always good <laughs> that's another thing that needs a lot of discussion however i won't get into much uh, scientific uh, details but i'm going to tell you that in the light spectrum of the sun there are several different let's say frequencies of light some of them are uva and uvb these frequencies are differently accepted by the eyes of different animals. Did you know that bees see in different colors the flowers than we do and uh, through this UVA or UVB a frequency they know which flower is the best to visit or not? I'm saying it very very simple. Just exactly the way like some wasps uh, are looking way different in the eyes of some birds so the birds know if it's worth to eat them or not. And the same goes for some uh, sea flowers or uh, uh, starfish that uh, in the eyes of the fish 
they have strong or different uh, UV uh, looking so they know that it could be dangerous to eat or attack so with few words UV is another addition on the jig or on any lure to push the predator to attack or not. The depth here at the limit of the cast is around 40 meters. The sun is going down. I can't think of anything better to use than Slim Jig Mino 100 grams glow yellow. This is a glow and UV color. Hmm. Well, seems that in deep waters and the strong colors during the afternoon work in the bottom. This is not a a big fish, but <laughs> for sure the strong yellow and the glow was uh, enough to trigger a strike. So from what we can see here is that it seems that strong colors are effective in deep waters. It makes sense because with our head we are thinking of a strong color in the dark. But is this the only advantage? A baby snapper! Both assist books, huh? Whee! Guys, if you want to support me, uh, memberships on my channel are active. Take a look. The links are up here. If you wish to do so, would be awesome. If not, still is awesome. Thank you very much. It might sound peculiar, but the human eye is able to see UV colors. But since they are totally natural to our eyes, we cannot uh, recognize which is or which is not. But if you use some extra help from a UV emission source, you can, your eyes can understand the difference. In order to help you understand better the nature behind UV, I will need the help of a small friend to show you exactly what I mean. This is why I used a BBC, a big black, uh, no, a BBS. <laughs> BBC refers to something different. <laughs> so, a BBS, a big black scorpion. Yes, this is spin and this is a big black Asian scorpion. Yeah. Hi, little fella. You're so cute. It's totally black and it's very friendly, as you can see. But what UV has to do with this amazing creature? Let's see. I will use the UV torch to light the scorpion. Watch what will happen. The extra UV light on the scorpion allowed our eye to see the difference and how other creatures can see it in the dark. This is the way of the scorpion to say, back off. Now let's do the same with some jigs. Look at these jigs. Look how they look in low light without extra UV and how they look with extra UV. Now if you wonder if the fish has a UV torch to hit them, to see them, no. Because already the eye of the fish can recognize uh, these strong UV details, even in low light conditions. So we can understand that UV can be really good uh, to have on some jigs because depending the day they could make the difference. But be careful, some days they might not want it at all and it could be uh, negative on our jig. So you have to experiment. Generally speaking, UV is usually most effective during low light conditions, during uh, night, uh, with, uh, especially with the uh, moon that reflects the, sun, uh, the sun's uh, light. And they are also very effective during winter with the clouds, because the clouds filter a lot the sun's uh, light. 
but some UV passes and is enough to give the touch that the jig needs to be effective. I had a long cast, but now my jig is close to the rocks and I'm ready to bring it out. In order to avoid any snag, I will retrieve fast. But something was attacking on skipping. So I'm going to try one more time skipping. Nothing. And now I will allow my jig to go close to the bottom. Hopefully the strong color and the glow of the jig will do the job. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you need to be released. Good. Uh, it was attacking on the retrieval, on the last retrieval of the jig on the surface, but I got it. <laughs> Of course, we can have uh, strong colors without UV, like uh, pink, uh, yellow, green, orange, that they also are uh, reaction colors. Uh, it's up to you to choose whatever you want and try in your fishing, because yes, it's all about experiment. As I said, sometimes they love a lot of UV, other times just a little. In this case, they love a lot of UV. Since we're talking about UV rays of the sun, did you know that the UV rays are responsible for the glow effect on our jigs? Yes, the UV rays are the ones that are charging the glow on our jigs. There are different qualities of glow paint on our jigs with different time of discharge. So there are the fast glow paints that absorb very fast uh, UV rays and they also discharge very fast, but very powerful, making a strong effect. Other paints are slower charging, but they also discharge slower, so they have a more natural and long-lasting effect. Both are equally important. The stronger ones make a stronger reaction effect, while the more uh, low ones give a more natural effect. Let me go there. It's too high for a 100 gram. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, on the fall. On the fall, yes. Of course. It seems. For sure it's an albacore and one more time on the fall as I was walking I felt the 
the braid running. And very high, Joe. Whoa! Look, 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 look. Come here. These light conditions are the perfect example for when to use strong colors with a bit of glow. So some colors like the zebra glow for example imitates the stripes that an anxious fish uh, makes when it's uh, threatened or uh, when it uh, hunts. We have all seen bonitos or uh, uh, snappers with strong uh, lines uh, when we take them out of the water that was due to anxiety. That's exactly what uh, zebra glow colors imitate and this is why they are also very effective. But sometimes small details are exactly what we need of glow or a uh, glow belly. Because I don't know if you have seen, but some fish like uh, mackerel or adze, if you see them in the dark, they have uh, bioillumination and you can see green uh, glow dots or green lines on their body that they don't last long, but they are there. And bigger fish know how to detect an attack. So glow is another valuable tool on our jig. And then <laughs> we have full glow, full UV. Like the full glow needlefish, that it's full UV and full glow, very strong, fast acting glow. So between cast, it has enough time to charge by itself, even in the lowest uh, light condition. Now, what about these colors? These are one more time reaction colors that don't allow the fish to think. Very strong effect uh, makes the fish to simply go for it. And sometimes, according to some people, the full glow jigs imitate uh, 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 squids or cuttlefish when they uh, flash and turns white, and that may be a reality. I'm not sure. But what I know is that full glow jigs had saved me so many times, and uh, usually these jigs are the ones that get most strikes also during the fall. Like this big amberjack uh, that uh, attacked on the fall this full glow jig. You can see in the link the video that talks about fluorocarbon lines. A very interesting video, guys. If you missed it, you have to watch it. To be honest, I can't remember how many times strong colors saved the day. I, I won't lie, most of the times I use natural colors and. Uh, Probably it's because of the psychology. You have something natural and you feel uh, that it's more appropriate and more friendly to the fish eye. But we have to understand that the fish don't see things as we do. Sometimes you need to trigger them to attack. That's true. And uh, uh, watch this. Because sometimes, even with the uh, calm conditions and with the uh, strong light, that it's normally not the ideal uh, conditions to use a strong color, uh, strong colors save the day. So it seems that from what we've heard uh, so far, is that uh, strong color jigs, UV jigs and glow jigs are most appropriate for winter time and low light conditions that's true but it's not the rule as we said these are reaction colors and that means that they make the fish react so yes from october to march they are really really good because of the light conditions but during spring they are also very effective because the fish are spawning and they get very, very aggressive. And uh, according to experience, if you use strong color jigs 
at that moment you can get fish uh, easily because they attack to push away, not to actually eat the intruder. So <laughs> you can use it for uh, your own uh, benefit. So you know? Maybe it's a, it's a booster. Yes, could be. Not uh, so small. But uh, maybe yeah. the ring is too strong, so I cannot understand. Yeah. Yes, it's a snapper. snapper. And yeah, uh, you see another one? Uh, yes, yes. Oh no, it's the bubble. And it went in. Yes, yes. It, it went in the. In the Macedonia. Yes, let me lift. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's from the yeah, yeah. eye. Well. Uh, Best way to start the day. Third cast. Awesome. Guys, I hope you find this video interesting. I hope you learned something. If you did, please comment now. Your comments are always welcome. And uh, stay tuned because there are other videos coming soon. These masterclass videos are very important. I can understand. So they will keep on coming about drag presetting, about uh, road actions and jigs and uh, more. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss them. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much for watching guys. Thank you very very much.